So where are these stem cells that are in teeth? Well, of course, in the developing tooth with an open apical foramen, those dental stem cells are in the pulp tissue. And we think that they come from the pulp. We think they come from bone marrow, which produces millions of cells in your body. We also think that they may be mesenchymal cells, and they also could come from apical papilla tissues. When we think of teeth, we know that if there's a tooth that's got wear or erosion or a large cavity, what can happen is we get mineralization. And that mineralization is caused by an increase in the odontoblasts. And the odontoblasts are the cells that make the dentin. So we can have increased odontoblast activity, and it gives us what we call regenerative dentin. And that regenerative dentin, you know, creates more mineral. And so if we expose the pulp, then what happens is we kill the odontoblasts. When the odontoblasts are killed, the other odontoblasts cannot replace them. So what happens is the stem cells form new mineral. So when we see dentin bridges, that's the stem cells from the pulp that are forming that dentin bridge. And so when we see images like this, what we can see is a vital pulp. And this reparative dentin bridge is covering the site of a pulp exposure. And so what you can see there is a healthy pulp. It's not filled with immune cells. There's no bacteria. And so that's a very good healing pulp exposure. The problem is, if bacteria get into the site of the pulp exposure, which often happens, then in the presence of the bacteria, the stem cells don't seem to be able to re regenerate tissues. They don't seem to be able to heal. And we certainly don't get dentin bridge formation. So whenever we have infection, necrosis, bacteria, we don't get healing. So any time that we want to have regeneration or healing, we really have to disinfect the wound site, get rid of all the bacteria, and reduce the bacterial load in that area to a very small level. We can't leave necrotic tissues in a patient either because those necrotic tissues will spread. There's toxins in those cells that will spread to adjacent tissues, so we get increasing necrosis. So anytime we have necrosis or infection, those have to be removed before we can have healing and regeneration. What um, dentists and researchers like to do is locate these dental pulp stem cells. And what you can see here is they're located in the dental pulp, but they're there in very small concentrations. They're only there in one in 10,000 cells. They're able to proliferate. That means they're able to make more of themselves, and they can migrate. They can go from one point to another. They're also able to change their cell type, so they can change from being a stem cell to being a mineralizing cell. 